Well, it's Wednesday. We got an off day today. We are uh, had to run up here to Palatka to the service yard, preventative maintenance. And then we got a meeting today and try to get all this tackle ready. This place has been extremely tough this week. Yeah, we're backing up. We're going in reverse down the, down the main road. Got the update done on the engine. Now we're uh, coming to the first meeting to where they get pictures of our truck and boat and get everything checked up, ready to go. It's getting real now. That's what it's all about right there. Bassmaster Elite Series. This week's been challenging. It's been one of the one of the toughest practices that I've seen in a while. Been in the 30s about every night. Today it's warmed up really nice. This is the warmest day we've had. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get those fish to move up, but it's like they're just in a kind of a, a transition before another wave of them come in to spawn. But uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a trick. We've got to got to you know, try to get in the right area where those fish are coming to. That's the biggest key, I think, is being able to get, be in a place that they're making their way towards and try to get five good quality bites before the day's over. But we were supposed to have some weather moving in. It's just a half ounce war eagle with a gold and silver blade. But uh, I feel like this wind is supposed to be blowing tomorrow, 20 to 30 miles an hour with some gusts. It's gonna be pretty, pretty rocking and rolling out there so you know you get that nasty weather and it's supposed to be some rain moving in this this little jewel might catch a big one we'll see I got those first tournament jitters for sure. It's it's always exciting to get the year started. I wish the conditions were a little better. We got a lot of wind coming today. Got rain coming tonight and then cold temps tomorrow. It's gonna be hard to run around. It's supposed to blow, I think 15 to 25 with gust over 30 straight out of the south. So that's gonna make it a challenging morning, but challenging day. But the year is here, it's time to get going. Hopefully we can catch a few and start off with a, a good tournament. Turning in the parking lot to your boat launched, ready to go is always that most nerve wracking time. Look, there's a Micah Fraser dude. Yeah, we're here at the, at the take off, the blast off site, whatever you want to call it. but. They, they've got us in two lines coming in, just just kind of keep the traffic flowing a little bit better, coming in two at a time, and then they'll get, they'll have a guy up here that is directing us. It's a big day, it's the first tournament of the year. Everybody's you know pumped, excited, jittery, nervous. This is my 11th season on tour. It's hard to believe I've been doing this for 11 years, but you know, really been blessed to be able to do it. And call it my job. What an interesting turn of event. That's an interesting uh, storyline for today. We uh, just got the boat launched tied up to the dock and they canceled the tournament due to wind. It's gonna blow like 15 to 25 gusts to 40, they're saying, and uh, it's, it's, it's good, but bad, because today is the day that the fish were gonna bite better, I think, because of the weather. Tomorrow's gonna be colder, but we play by these rules and we're gonna we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna go back to the house and uh, get ready for tomorrow.
finally getting to go, I feel like. Today is very little wind. It's a, a brisk 40 degrees. A lot of things have changed, you know, in, in the course of three days. We, we haven't fished for three full days now, so uh, it's anybody's game. This is gonna change so drastically. Everything's gonna be different, so just gotta keep our head down and, you know, hopefully we'll get five of those decent bites. I feel like it's, you know, it's, it's, everything's changed so much that you really don't have, it's kind of practice all over again, but at least we're getting to go. That's the best part. Survived day one, had a little over 11 pounds and uh, it's a good start. I feel like it was gonna be a lot tougher for me to get bit. Uh, you know, I was able to catch five or six keepers today. So I think I think as the time goes on, it's gonna get a little bit better. You know, it's uh, we're way behind. We got a, we got a long, long ways to go if we wanna win, but down here in Florida, you know, I think, I think the biggest key is just keep your head down and you know, be ready because any any pitch could be a, a seven to ten pounder, and uh, that's what we need. We didn't have a big one today, and we survived. So maybe tomorrow we'll get three or four big ones. But uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Fishing tomorrow, and then hopefully a top twenty cut. We'll see. Well, day two is here. It's uh, it's cold again. It's not as cold, but it's still cool. I'm hoping that don't affect it in a negative way, but we survived yesterday. I felt like it was, you know, I felt like it was gonna be tough and it was. I mean, there was some good good weights, but overall it was, you know, had 11 pounds and some change and it, it was, you know, it's got me in the top 30. So I feel like if I can, uh, if I can catch maybe 14 or so, I'd probably sneak into that top 20 cut for tomorrow. Snooze you lose, Poncho. You don't realize I'm by myself, so I need this deal over here.
you ready? From Benton, Arkansas, get loud for a lead series champion, Stetson Blaylock. He'll be heading to the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic. Five fish here today, 11-1 yesterday, 16-11 today with 27 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves inside the top 10 at the Avco Bassmaster Elite on the St. John's River. In the middle, uh, they got the iron while I got the steamer. 27 pounds, fire, 12 ounces, sitting in eighth place, and uh, looks like you're going to work tomorrow. Yeah. And I tell you what, this place has been tough on me, but I, I finally figured out how to kind of calm down and just fish. And I actually caught that biggest one on my very last cast before I had to make about a 30 minute run. So that, that just goes to show you never put your rod down till it's time to quit and uh, just stay focused. But it's going to be a different day again tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully I can catch a couple more big ones. Yeah. Awesome to have you here in the Elite Series. Well, we had a better day. Looks like we're going to make the top 20 cut. It was a pretty wild day. It, it started off pretty good, caught a few nice ones early, and then filled our limit with little ones. I uh, went where I started, caught a five-pounder like on the last cast. I mean, I was going down the bank saying, man, I got to go, I got to go. Now nah, I'm going to keep going. I got a couple more, a couple more cast left i got another minute i got another minute got down there to a little patch of lily pads and threw my vibrating jig in there and just loaded up and it was it was the biggest fish of the day i mean those are difference makers at the very end that you don't really realize how critical that fish is till you catch it but uh man what a day i'm excited to go back and do it again Well, it's, it's day three, it's moving day. It's time to time to get out there and try to bust inside that top 10. We're sitting in 12th right now. Uh, it's been a good week. I didn't expect to catch them this good. Just kind of got one little area that's uh, been really critical for me this week. Just, it's been a struggle for me to get more bites once I leave my key area. So, uh, but they quit biting in there, it seems like after about 10, 30 or 11. So. I got to get in there and get some fish caught and hopefully I can get uh, get five big ones and put them in the boat and maybe squeak inside that top 10. Elite Series champion looking for another title one year later for Arkansas Stetson Blaylock. Series title to his yeah. name took that title last year from Arkansas, Stetson Blaylock. Yeah. Get him up that leaderboard, 11 pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into fifth place with 39 pounds and nine ounces, earning himself some Elite Series Angler of the Year points. <laughs> yeah, I caught all my fish in one area. I kind of figured out that I could get some bites in there. And again, I just tried to make the best of it. And uh, now I get to shift my focus towards the classic. It's my first one and I'm uh, so ready to get there. Yeah. Tell me, yeah, you can, you can clap. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what that feels like. I mean, you have accomplished an 
a lot in your career. I mean, uh, you've had a great career, and I know that's the goal, just just to be in this sport. But you're finishing the 50th class. Like, what, what is going through your mind, and what does that mean to you? Well, this is my 11th season as a pro, and I've been traveling the country since I was 17, you know, chasing this dream. And, uh, you know, it, it means the world to actually qualify for the biggest tournament in this sport, and I'm so excited to get there. But for me, it's not been an easy road. Uh, a lot of guys, it's been a struggle to get here, but uh, I can tell you what, it feels good to be here. And uh, the 50th Classic, it's going to be a special one and uh, huge crowds and even bigger fish. Can't wait to see you in Gunnersville. Woo!